That's so funny. Greetings, my friends, and welcome to my home, the Sanctum Sanctorum. I realize an aging townhouse in Greenwich Village doesn't quite match the opulence of Stark Tower, but I think you'll find it comfortable. of our team has already moved in. I would suggest you talk to Colonel Fury first. He has information concerning our next mission. I'm just happy to be here. Nah, son of a bitch. Team? Hmm? Why did we leave Stark Tower? We moved because now the Loki's involved, we're gonna need magic. We're What's going on? on Earth for magic in the Sanctum Sanctorum. Hmm? Has there any word on the kidnapping of Nightcrawler or Jean Grey? Professor Xavier has located one of his X-Men in Doctor Doom's castle. That means Latveri is your next stop. For more info, talk to Black Widow. You're free to explore your new What? Alright. This is where Dr. Strange stores arcane objects. Most are harmless, but some could prove quite dangerous. Hey, that name you gave me, C.B. Sobolski, was perfect. He was able to help you? Yeah, he said all I need was a shield security module. Would you mind talking to the Vision? I bet he has one. Because I'm trying to do stuff. Uh, 
I wonder if I could impose on you to locate the book entitled A History of the Arcane. Wong said it would be located somewhere in this house. Sure thing, Vision. You're welcome. the book. Thank you. This should help improve my knowledge of the mystical realm. Your Greetings, Daredevil. Welcome to the Sanctum Sanctorum. Hello, Vision. What do you know about Laveria? Laveria is a tiny country in Europe, located near Hungary. It's a haven for gypsies, one of the few people Dr. Doom takes an interest in. How does Doom done as the leader of the bear? Surprisingly well. There's virtually no crime because the country is patrolled by an army of robots. And thanks to Doom's genius in weaponry, Latveria is considered by many to be a superpower. Who is Loki? He's the son of Lothi, king of the frost giants. Odin took the infant Loki as his own son after defeating Lothi in battle. So Loki and Thor are his brothers? Yes, but as the two boys grew, so did Loki's hatred of Thor and his desire to rule Asgard. Vision, do you have the state security model? The one for accessing shield data? Yes, I still have it. Could you give it to us? I suppose there's no harm in that. You're <laughs> Did you need something else? Ah. Did you need something else? What's the spear Wong is standing That's by? That's the orb of teleportation. It's for transporting people to different locations. Did Doctor Strange create it? Yes. I guess since he's the Sorcerer Supreme, he's the only one who could create such a powerful magical item. Thanks, Frank. Ah, don't worry. Greetings, Wong. Quite a legendary group of visitors we have here at the Sanctum Sanctorum. Yes. This is a truly historic occasion. I have never before seen such an impressive team of superheroes. Quite right. But then, the world has never before been threatened by such a malevolent collection of villains as the masters of evil. I find it disconcerting that a man of Dr. Doom's brilliant intellect is capable of leading such an infamous group. I do as well, my friend. Were Doom to direct his talents towards the good of mankind, there's no telling what benefits would be gained. Are there any indications as to what the masters of evil are planning? None whatsoever. But I should think it to be something most diabolical with Dr. Doom as their leader. Greetings, Wong. Yes, right. I, I do. Are there none whatsoever? Captain America. Stay focused. Damn. Hi. What can I do? That, yes. Ah. Hello. I am Wong, Dr. Strange's assistant. What is the orbit teleportation? It is a mystical device recently created by Dr. Strange. It aids him in reaching the dark dimension where his friend Cleo resides. Is the orb dangerous? Not at all. Once I have attuned it to the proper location, you may use it any time you like. What is this place? This is the Sanctum Sanctorum. It is built upon a focal point for supernatural energies, and is the home of what? my teacher, 
Doctor Strange. No. What goes on here? This is where Doctor Strange conducts various experiments into the mystical world. It also houses his vast collection of occult objects. It was no trouble at all. United, we cannot lose. Greetings, Daredevil. Let's eat it. I let there. You. Did you need something out? That me. Greetings, Wong. Yes, right, right. Not all that none. Hello, welcome to the Sanctum Sanctorum, our new headquarters. Hello, Black Widow. Well, Loki's ploy worked. He tricked us into going to Mandarin's palace, leaving Doom free to kidnap Jean Grey and Nightcrawler. Colonel Fury said Professor Xavier located Nightcrawler. Another. Yes. So why, why did everyone leave? He's somewhere in the castle Doom, and that is exactly where you are headed. I would advise extreme caution. Doctor Doom is not to be underestimated. When you are ready to leave, use the orb of teleportation near Wong. And Sam joined too, that's why I'm confused. It was Yes. Do you Ta huh. What is Castle Located Doom? Located in Latveria's capital city. It looks like nothing more than a medieval castle, but it houses some of the most advanced technology on Earth. What kind of defenses will we find? Doom prefers to use robots No, he just left on his own. These Doombots, as they are called, closely resemble the man who created them. Our necrology got kidnapped. They were visiting Dr. Moira McTaggart on Muir Island when an army led by Ultron attacked. Not seriously. Ultron's team did not waste time with unnecessary battle. They fought their way into the lab area, trapped the X-Men in containment fields, and then teleported out. Originally, I was a ballerina, but at the news of my husband's death, I became a spy what did I do? the KGB. I discovered the truth, that my husband was alive. He had become an agent known as the Red Guardian, and his superiors wished him to sever all ties to his past. Yes. Things were a little touch and go at Mandarin's palace, but the team did a good job. I'm sure you'll have no trouble in Latveria. Hey, Colonel Fury. Nope. Things were a little touch and go at... Why is Professor Xavier here? I invited him because he's the only one who can locate the missing X-Men quickly. What makes Xavier so special? Xavier is one of the most powerful telepaths on Earth. And there's that added incentive that he's the leader of the X-Men. Why would Doom kidnap Jean Grey and Akron? Shield analysts think it has something to do with the theft of the mutant amplifier from the Omega base. Why do they think that? If the mutant amplifier were used on Nightcrawler, he could teleport anywhere in the world. Jean Grey. Well, I hate to think what could happen. How do you mean? If her psychic powers were augmented and then she transformed into the Phoenix. She could tear the Earth apart without giving it a second thought. How does she get it started? It was originally created to battle Hydra, a terrorist organization run by Baron Wolfgang von Strucker. She has grown some since then. Yes. There was a time when S.H.I.E.L.D. became so large it suffered from traitors within the organization. But with people like the Black Widow in key positions, we'll never have that problem again. Nope. The Masters of Evil recently abducted two of my X-Men, Jean Grey and Nightcrawler. Colonel Fury has placed a priority on saving them. Apparently, he feels that by locating the wayward X-Men, 
you will also uncover the headquarters of the Masters of Evil. Have you found any luck finding your people? Yes. With the aid of Cerebro, I've discovered Nightcrawler is in Latveria. That's the country doctor drum rolls. Nightcrawler's location really comes as no surprise. Although I must admit I'm puzzled as to why Jean isn't with him. But there's no time to hesitate. To get to Latveria, use Doctor Strange's orb of teleportation. It will send you there instantly. Oh. Greetings. In case you don't know me, my name is Professor Charles Xavier. Of course I know you're the leader of the X-Men. What's that of us besides This you? is an uplink beast created, so that I can access all of Cerebro's functions, even though I'm miles away. What's Cerebro? It's a large device located in the sub-basement of the X-Mansion. I use it to locate mutants around the world. Are you the only one who can use your No, but it can be dangerous to the untrained mind. That's why I will only allow the most experienced of telepaths to use it. Which of the X-Men have clearance? Jean Grey and Emma Frost are both quite skilled at working with Cerebro. Who's Nightcrawler? His real name is Kurt Wagner, and he's perhaps the kindest soul I've ever met. Hailing from Germany, he is devoutly religious. Despite his somewhat devilish appearance. Is he an X-Men? Oh yes. He's been with the team for years. His mutant ability to teleport has saved the X-Men hundreds of times. Who's Jean Grey? Jean is quite a talented telepath. And very powerful at telekinetics. More so than she realizes. And that power carries a grave danger. What danger is that? If she expends too much energy, there is a chance her personality will be consumed by the Phoenix. The Phoenix is a malevolent entity, capable of great destruction. Oh. Well, what have we here? Oh. A brand new XJ9 shield security module. Sweet. Now I can do some serious hacking. Enjoy yourself, Weasel. Hey, what's up? How did you find us? Do you honestly think any of you can hide from a super hacker like me? There is nowhere on earth you can go that I can't track you down. Actually, Deadpool told me. How'd you get in here? Well, I climbed up a drain pipe and crawled in through a window. Then a plant tried to eat me, and, and some tentacles tried to drag me into another dimension. Just wait till you get my bill. Anywhere on that period? Nothing new. As far as I know, it's a think tank run by S.H.I.E.L.D. But I'm looking to find out exactly what it is they're thinking about. I still no idea why Black Widow had information on the Imperial Security System. Well, I bet she's working for the other team. But we'll know more once I hack into Shield's Black Ops network and get full info on the organization. Hi, how are you? Why do men get stupid around you? Oh, you must have seen how Jarvis reacted to me at Stark Tower. It's a pheromone thing. I'm still learning how to control it. Are you for a month there? Yes. You see, I transmit a chemical that makes men very attracted to me. It gets a lot worse when I'm under stress, like during battle. Any relation to Spider-Man? None whatsoever. I'm not his sister, I'm not his cousin he gave blood to, and his powers were never accidentally transferred to me. You never even did it. Well, he is cute. In a geeky sort of way. But with his sense of humor, I prefer to keep my distance. So why are you called Spider-Woman? Mostly because I have enhanced strength and can stick to walls, like the web slinger. But also I have the power to generate bioelectric venom blasts. Well, Spider-Man can't do that. No. He also hasn't had the training in hand-to-hand -hand combat that I've had. Thanks, Spider-Woman. 
Hey, did you see the Professor Xavier's here? With him on the case, Jean Grey and Nightcrawler are as good as free. You seem to have a lot of faith in Xavier. <laughs> hey, come on. This is Professor Charles Xavier we're talking about. The guy's never wrong. Be cool. Hi, how you doing? Are you worried about Jean Grey and Nightcrawler? If they've been kidnapped by almost any other villain, I'd be fine. But this is Dr. Doom. He doesn't play nice. Well, what can Doom do? He's got no other superpowers. No, but the guy's super smart. And with brains like his, he's got all the superpowers he needs. You seem pretty proud to be an extra. What's not to be proud of? Look at the people I work with. Cyclops, Beast, Colossus, Emma Frost. <laughs> They're all heavy hitters at the top of their game. What do you think of Professor Xavier? He is one in a billion. Dignified, intelligent, and tough as nails when he has to be. He's the only one who could lead a group like the X-Men. Do you think Black Widow is true? I'm sure she had a perfectly good reason to be lugging that laptop around in the middle of a battle. Even if she was awfully close to Doom's troops. So despite the evidence, you think she's loyal? She can't be guilty, okay? And you know why? Because she's really hot and I don't want her to be guilty. Oh, I'm reading something. Cool. Humans, this game. I would warn you, dark magic is stalking this house. No, so like, Wait they're talking, like and warrior. my character's saying, like, who's responsible for this magic? That's what I'm reading. Doctor Strange's most powerful enemy, Baron Mordo. Uh, greetings, human. Do you have another question for me? Who are you? My name is Clea. I am the Sorceress Supreme of the Dark Dimension. You look strange. Yes, we are quite well acquainted. Years back, Stephen brought me to Earth and I became his student. Once I had learned all I could, I returned to my dimension to free it. From the corrupt rule of my mother. Dark magic in that All I can tell you is this house, the Sanctum Sanctorum, is the focal point of an immense evil. Do you know who won this magic evil war? That is what most concerns me. It is happening now. Even as we speak, like a menacing vulture, it hovers, waiting to strike. Who's Baron Mordo? A vile, dark sorcerer who has long been a rival of Stevens. And though he has great, inborn magical powers, Mordo is no match for the mystical might of Doctor Strange. <laughs> Why are they rivals? Long ago, Mordo pretended to be a student of the Ancient One, all the time plotting to take his power. Stephen discovered Mordo's deception and attempted to warn the Ancient One. I forgot they asked him that question, he didn't want to answer it. <laughs> 